Hello my friends, I'm G Hondo, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Guild of Dungeoneering. In the last episode, a brutal, brutal slugfest, we eventually gained victory over Cleaver Joe and stole his Lego ham. That also unlocked for us a new class, the Drunken Sailor. I'll bring that up so you guys can have a look. It's actually not as bad as I thought it was. It actually kind of reminds me almost of a cross between the Bruiser and the Barbarian. Only he has rum instead of death wish. Um, it's very obviously very offensive physically. Absolutely no sign of magic whatsoever. Um, only one block and a couple of self damagers. But it does have a double power um, store up. Unlike say the ranger's camouflage that just stores one. He can store up two. So he's capable of dealing a lot of damage as long as you're fighting something that's not very good at defending physical. So... It certainly he is not as bad as I thought, but I obviously will be sticking to the Ranger for now. And we got enough money off of that that we can actually expand and we can pick up the last of the equipment. Because as I, you know, by now I'm sure I am very much into that. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And now we are ready to go back out. And I'm going to just basically alternate between the pirates and the jungle. We did a pirate last time, so we'll do a jungle one this time. So let's start here. Uh, snakes, apparently. Fantastic. Or something. <laughs> and we're going to use the Trickster's Greed, and let's play with some snakes. What could possibly, possibly be a problem with that, right? <laughs> now, as you recall, snakes are wanderers, so as soon as I connect anything up here, they're all going to start wandering around and probably come after me. Now, they won't come straight for me, like, they're not aggressive, but just with this many of them wandering around, they probably will come and get me, so... Instead, I'll just go to the side here, and fight a bat. And by all rights, I don't even technically even have to fight the snakes, I could just walk back and forth. It's just defeat any three monsters, so... Anyway, that's unblockable. Let's go ahead and slap them around. Camouflage that. I don't mind the blood-starved bat, because it comes with predictable. It's a little, it's got some tough attacks, but with predictable on, it's really not that bad, so. Block that as well. And, well, I, oh, I will eke out a victory here, but it's going to be a close one. Because he'll kill himself, and I will just take that. Oh, I got closer than it should have been. Anyway, alright, so wooden board is just repel. Fish scale cowls, arcane, and a hit point. That's not bad. Eyeball charms, fire, and a hit point. Also not bad. Or growth and wise. Yes, please. How dare you, interloper. Anyone else say that uh, looked an awful lot like Medusa? Anyway, let's go ahead. We'll connect up. Yeah, we'll just go fight some snakes. I'm not even going to put another monster down. We'll just let them wander into me. Alright, here we go. Alright, let's just uh, offset that, that damage, slap it back. Uh, I cannot stop that, so I guess I'll just punish it for doing it. That seems like an excellent one to block. We will do that. That's unblockable. Very nice. Okay, so he's still slightly ahead of me on damage. But I'm not going to save the waste the camouflage. I'm going to save it for a neurotoxin. But this will put us even at two hit points each. And that will finish me. Uh, I have no way to deal two damage, and his is unblockable. Poop. Well, that sucked. That, uh, that didn't go so well. <laughs> that was not the start I was hoping for. Okay. Well, in that case, let's see how our shiny new drunken sailor does.
Getting a character like this with all those physical attacks, a spyglass or a cursed bow, will be absolutely awesome. Because he's already just stacked full of physical attacks, so getting him quick, right from ranged, will be fantastic if I can do it. Of course, I'm very susceptible to these. I have no blocks and nothing magic at all, so... Uh, let's just do this up here. Ouch. Okay, he's now in tenacious mode. I got a bit lucky here that it didn't only did a very weak attack. Although I did have one block anyway, but... There we go. Well, no sign of the spyglass, unfortunately. Seems like he pretty much has to have brass knuckles, doesn't it? Just to fit in the character. Man-eating plants are a bit tough too, but they do at least have stupidity. Instead of just all attacks, but they also have a lot more hit points. These things only have five. So I think I'm better off to uh, try my hand at a snake. <laughs> yeah, drunk talk. Got it. Okay, well, that seems like something we can have. Oh, I thought I said five hit points. I could turn this red back. My vision's not that good, in case you hadn't uh, heard me mention that about a million times before. <laughs> We'll just punch it in. Okay, not take that, thanks. I guess Spikey would be pretty good with this guy as well. But anyway. I think really he needs, he needs the ranged. Yeah, we'll definitely block that, thanks. Need you a couple for your trouble. And uh, finish him off with a reckless swing. So we can take a snake with this character, although it's tough, but we can do it. Alright, so Crush and Fire. Crush 3 is awesome. And it wouldn't be a bad idea to have at least one magic attack. Wise, on the other hand, would be good. Magic attacks and draw cards. That could be very, very good. Crush, we already had. And, uh, growth and a hit point. And, you know, I'm going to go with the Fez. Okay. How nice for them. Did it help them? The fact that you're still there means it. you just beat them up, so fair warning doesn't really seem all that relevant to me, but anyway. We'll grab those coins, then one or the other of these snakes, whichever one goes first, will get me. Come get it. Right, uh, let's go ahead and block that. Set the damage to pick up a card. That's unblockable anyway, so let's just use these blue ones up, draw another card. So far, so good. Alright, let's juice up an attack. Come on, mess, thank you. I'm going to make this thing really regret my next attack. That's my master plan here. Uh, two, that's four, two, four, six. He's at eight. So I can't kill him in the next hit, sadly. But I can certainly punish him for doing so. Ah, that's, a, that's delightful. So I will just take that. But in order to actually kill him, I'd have to do one that would then kill me. So that doesn't work very well, so let's focus instead. Okay, he's just going for a restore. That's fine. Let's use up these blues. Okay, block that. Feed him one damage. 
So far, so good. Okay, he's just doing a claw. He has two left. So the slam with it. It's getting a little crazy when you have this many cards out. I guess theoretically you could have your entire deck out and then just be cycling the one card over and over and over again. It'd get kind of crazy, but in theory you could do it. And for a guy like this, if you could just sit there and just, especially if you had, say, Bulwark or something, and you could just keep ignoring the opponent's damage and just keep juicing up that over and over and over and then hit the thing for like 3,000 damage or something crazy, it'd be pretty nuts. Fountain Addict, not normally a big deal. It kind of messed me up one episode earlier, but anyway. Moving on. Yep, so it is Medusa. I want to stick with the Drunken Sailor or go back to the Ranger. Let's stick with the Drunken Sailor. He did all right. I think this is one I have a certain number of turns and then I just lose if I don't get to her. Yeah, I have 10 turns to defeat the Medusa. So I definitely should be able to get these two chests. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, assuming I get good corridors, no problem there. So we'll start with that. And uh, that, I think we'll do. Fight a spider just for fun. Good, that's a good fountain. That's nice. Okay. Oh, combined with Frail, this guy's going to just annihilate this thing. Got eight, that's four, five, six, seven, eight, but that would kill me if I did that. Shoot. Alright, I'll just wait one more turn then. That's crazy, but I think this is going to be a tie or I'm going to lose. Rum might keep me alive here, though. Uh, yeah, it's only doing one damage. I'll be doing two. And I'll still do three. Frail and his block will offset. So, yes. Like this thing, we'll do it. Okay. Apparently, Rum's here. It'd be nice if Rum was continuous, but... Oh, yes, please. That much physical with range. He'll be fine. It's a shame that Rum only goes off once, because that would be really helpful if you could just time it so you were always down to one hit point, go back up to three. It would be really, really awesome. But anyway. Uh, we need to connect that to there. And I'm not going to connect the Medusa yet. We'll go fight the Bat, and then some Pixies, I guess. That'll do. Uh -huh. Okay, well you're blocking physical anyway, so let's just get one warmed up. Yeah, I really like the Drunken Sailor as a ranger. That is just delightful. It takes all the danger out of the uh, self-damaging Reckless Swing, so... Alright. Barrel, no thank you. Sash, probably. Leatherbound Tome, also a possibility, but I really don't want to lose that. So more physical, or finally have a little bit of magic. I think I should have just a little bit of magic. Not much, just a little bit. Alright, Hook, no thank you. Glyph, no thank you. Crossbow, probably. Tattered Nail, no thank you. Crossbow it is. There we go. Now he's looking pretty good. So we can fight that. I think I can then take an owl bear and we can connect. If I have a quarter that fits. No, I'd rather not do that. I'll make sure I get this chest first. So I'm going to pass on the corridors. And then I can connect there or there to be fine. Okay, okay. Well, I guess I'm going to be dropping a card, which is unfortunate. But anyway. That's fine. Tenacious. 
keep them alive, sadly. There's no point in doing a beef up attack, he's only got one hit point anyway. And I do not want him to get a chance to do that, so we'll definitely do the reckless swing. Perfect. stupidity so much but why is this good no and no is it worth stupidity for wise <sighs> all right we'll take it for now hopefully i find something better soon to replace it though because that really is terrible all right let's go fight the owl bear I clicked, I really did. Thank you. Silly mouse. <laughs> Alright, that's unblockable, so let's just. Maybe I'll just draw another card. Why not? Still not in fury mode yet. Uh, do I have a block? Just an overkill block, but I'm not. I'm not too upset about that. That's pretty harsh of you. So let's do some. I think that's going to put himself in fury mode. Yes, it did. Oh, right into another one. Okay, well, it's not going to matter. Uh, with those two and these three, that's five, so victory. And that's why the ladies report is so worthwhile. Okay, scale mail. Uh, maybe. Coral crown. Probably almost 100% actually. I consider spiking wise comparable. Wise slightly better, but not enough of a difference to throw away a stupidity and gain two hit points. Unless this one happens to be better than this one. Spiking and two hit points versus holy two and arcane. Ooh, that's actually pretty close. But I think I'm going to take spiking the hit points. I think that'll work out better. If I put any of these down though, that will lure him over there, so I'll, I'll just have to let those go. Ah. Which is unfortunate, but that's okay. Well, that looks like the exact sort of thing to interrupt. That was spiky. That's awesome. Okay. Uh, let's just draw a card. Ew. It won't matter, but that's a very powerful part of sorcery tree. Alright, so I could have gotten ranged from here if it came down to it, but I've already got it, so it's fine. No. Maybe. Uh no. No. Nope. Nope. And nope. Okay. Well then I guess that makes for a couple of nice rounds. And then we just have to see if I'm capable of taking down Medusa or not. I think I am, but ah. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Yeah, you don't. She doesn't have a crazy amount of hit points, and she doesn't have any crazy abilities. She just has a generally pretty powerful deck, if I remember right. Well, that's unblockable. So why don't I just go ahead and draw a card? Great. Um, this will just juice up. Six, two, three, four, five. I can't quite kill her in one shot, but 
certainly get it close. Which means any physical attack will win. That'll do. Okay, she actually wasn't that bad. Uh, hubris is no big deal, and then there's the new dungeon. Okay. Well, that worked out a whole lot better than Cleaver Dick Joe did. I don't mind that one little bit at all. Where is... Oh, right here. Snakeskin belt. That is our trophy from Medusa. So there we go, folks. I have just completed Snakes on a Plane. And that was not too bad at all. The Drunken Sailor did a lot of good for us, so... Anyway, this seems like an excellent spot to cut out the episode here, so till next time, stay calm, and I hope you'll come and chill with me again in the next video. Thanks for watching!